Moving right along, let's talk about the Summer Olympics. Why don't we? Because apparently the United States is kicking ass. I think they're leading the medal count by a lot. Lots of gold medals going around, especially in swimming. Beach volleyball, I guess, is good. Uh, Handball. You guys watch handball? That game is crazy. And I don't think the United States takes it serious enough. That's just my opinion. If you give any athlete in the United States an open trial to make the Olympic handball team, I'm telling you, it would be something insane. Imagine like Noah Syndergaard throwing to Cam Newton, who was throwing to Odell Beckham Jr., who was throwing to LeBron James. Why are you kidding me? That would be unstoppable. That would be the craziest thing on a court ever. But hey, <laughs> that would just that's just me thinking outside the box, I guess. But the Olympics in the United States, they're kicking ass this year. But I'm really not big on the Olympics. I don't know what your opinion is on it. I, I don't know if you guys enjoy it, whatever. You guys should let me know. Please do. Tell me what your favorite events are. Tell me what you love the most about these Olympics so far. But there is this there is something that came up. And I'm doing this podcast a day later, mainly because of the Chicago Bears and their terrible preseason performance. But just today, August 12th, the United States women's national soccer team got eliminated. And they were probably, I think they were ranked number one in the tournament. And they they figured that they were just going to walk all over everyone. They played like crap against Colombia. And then they came in against Sweden, I believe it was, or Switzerland, one of the two. I don't really pay attention. But I did pay attention to the final. They lost. Now they're eliminated. They're going home. And Hope Solo, this freaking crazy lady, she needs to go, first of all. I think we're done with Hope Solo and everything about her. I think she's just the worst. She's a, out of her mind. But it, whatever. She called her the other team cowards, a bunch of cowards, and they played a certain style that she, I guess, didn't agree with, and she felt like the United States were the better team and they didn't win. Sounds to me, she's pretty salty. Maybe she should beat up her nephew again or something. I don't know. I Don't do that. Please don't do that. Because you guys know, you guys remember that, right? The domestic violence issue that she had to deal with in 2014 or so. She's out of her mind, man. She's crazy. She's crazy. She was, I guess, hammered one night with her half-sister and her nephew, and there was a fight. And I guess her husband's also crazy or whatever the hell that's going on over there. It's just bad. But... She pounded this kid, this 17-year-old kid's face into a, into the cement. And while the half-sister tried to pull her off to, you know, stop and save her son, the half-sister got her ass kicked because Hope Solo just started punching her in the face over and over again. So the story continues. Hope Solo says that she wasn't guilty, or she was the victim in this situation. But obviously, with all the witnesses around, they were like, uh, oh, you're out of your mind. That's not true. So... She's been dealing with that ever since, and that's hanging over her head. And do I even have to mention the nudes? Like, come on. She's just, ah, uh, enough of Hope Solo. Enough. And she comes out and says all these stupid-ass things to the press. I don't know. Am I anti-American if I said I was kind of hoping for the women's national team to lose just so Hope Solo could lose? I don't know. I mean, does it really matter? It doesn't affect me at the end of the day. But at the same time, like, man, she's the worst. She is the worst. But I just... The women's national side, they, they got eliminated, and they were the top team, and that's bad. Not good. But overall, though, the United States is doing pretty well. Katie Ledecky? Are you kidding me? She's oh, she's unreal. Yeah, I don't think anybody can come close to her. And, and Michael Phelps? Phelps has got more gold medals than entire countries put together. It's insane These what they're able to do. Michael Phelps will swim in six events and win them all. Also in gymnastics, first of all, how the hell can they do all of that? Like, oh my God, it just hurts me watching them dance on that, or not dance. uh, Well, they had that mat competition where they're able to do a bunch of flips and stuff. It's just unreal. And then they have the bar routines. Holy God. Like, how do you, first of all, how do your shoulders not explode when you do a loop-de-loop up the, and like transfer to bar to bar, you know? It's like, oh, the strength that these athletes have. It's insane. They dedicate their lives for that moment. And so far, so good for the United States. I know the, the Simone ladies did very well in their respective sports. I know the swimmer and the gymnastics participant, they kicked ass and they won gold. So, man, tell me, you guys, I, obviously I'm not super big on the Olympics, but I want to hear your opinions, your thoughts on the Olympics, what your favorite moments have been so far. 
Uh, but like Rio has been like, there are so many reports in Rio that the water smells like like feces and like their their hotel rooms are not up to par to even like tourist standards. And these are Olympic athletes; they have to stay there. And there, uh, I think there were a, there was a cleanup project for a lake that was a, a, a next to or near one of the main facilities that wasn't cleaned. It's dangerous to go in there. One of the diving pools, I guess, that they competed in was green and it smelled like poo. Like, real, man, what what are you doing? And this was almost as bad as Sochi. And Sochi, I mean, at least they had freaking working bathrooms. Ah, it was, oh, man. It's it's so, and plus the Zika virus is over there. So please don't take that, bring that back over here because I don't want to die. Anyway, yeah, like I said, please, Share with me your opinions on the Olympics. What's your favorite event? Who's your favorite Olympian? Uh, if you say Michael Phelps, I'm just going to have to slap you across the face because uh, Michael Phelps is going to be everywhere for a while now. I feel like every four years, people are like, oh, yeah, Michael Phelps. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like all over Subway, all over these other commercials. DUI, uh, caught for pot, whatever. He's an Olympic hero. You know, Michael Phelps is the man. He's unbelievable. He is unbelievable. But still, hey. People are people, and the Olympics are fun, I guess. I don't really pay attention too closely, but let me know if you do. Please do.